What's going on? You are officially tuned in to Vaping with Vinny, and I truly do appreciate it. That being said, we're going over the mechanical mod, and are the metals a major difference in the conductivity of the mod? The answer is yes, but the question is, if you have a certain setup, is it worth going forth and buying upgraded switches, things of that matter? <clears throat> Excuse me. So, we'll dive right into it and get to it because this is literally my third take on this now. Um, to bring you guys up to speed, I've got the same battery in each one of these. I had them fully charged, pulled them off the charger. This is the Limitless Copper um, Bud Tattoo mod um, with a different sleeve and now a silver plated button in it. This is the Limitless Platinum Platinum Plated Copper mod with the Indian Head Solid Copper trigger uh, firing button in it um I had the bud tat 2 button in the bud tat mod um but uh after a year of non-stop abuse and a vape technician's ignorance they had ground down the top of my copper button substantially to the point where it made it extremely difficult to get my device to fire and it shouldn't have been like that. So I figured now was a good opportunity to find out if the solid copper limitless buttons hit harder or if the silver plated upgradable button hits harder and is it worth the 32 or 35 bucks that it costs to get it that being said we're gonna dive right to it we've got a limitless rda on each one of these both of them homing in at 0 0.09 so here we go copper Silver plated. Chucking phenomenally. I uh, still got vapor coming out. <clears throat> Platinum plated. Copper. Here we go. Hell to the air. <clears throat> Certainly seems to be that the Platinum mod outperforms the Copper mod. As for the buttons, we're going to swap the two out and see if we get that big of a difference off each device. So, silver plated with Copper and uh, platinum plated copper housing with solid copper button. Yep. Whoa. There goes the battery, folks. Okay, back in action. Positive side up. So, as you can see, they're the same. <clears throat> Platinum is now going on the copper tube. Mm, copper is now going on to the platinum tube. That being said, you can clearly tell they've been swapped. Let's take a pull. Start here. Oh 
was a good solid pull on that. Let's try over here. All right, so my findings are that the copper button is more conductive than the silver plated aluminum button for sure. I think if I had a brass button or an aluminum button, I would clearly spend the money for this button here. <clears throat> I do believe that would be an upgrade. I would like to see them release a limited edition, like pure, like, I don't know, maybe like 92.5% um, silver button that, you know, those that wanted to pay the price for it could obtain it. I certainly would. So I hope that clears up the metal conductivity question, at least when it comes to this particular device. Um, but set that factor aside, I still believe that these devices hit harder and outperform a lot of the devices that are on the market today. Um, and I don't think you can go wrong with any limitless hybrid mod. <clears throat> Copper, banging. Platinum, copper button. banging so there's the verdict i do believe the copper button is more conductive than the silver plated hope that clears up any questions till next time people you're vaping with your man Vinny, and i'll catch you i believe the next video will either be the LMC box mod or it will be a how to build your own coil tutorial. All right, on that note, <clears throat> I'm out of here. Keep vaping. Till next time, like, subscribe, share. Let's make it happen. Here's one for the road. <laughs>